the uh, the next thing I want to work on, in order, bef you know, before my my fan comes, my new, actually functioning fan, was um, getting a correct adapter for this because I'm sure if you're interested in these lakes at all, you have seen people do this, but I'll show you too. So you get your your fan that comes with it, and you stick it in. And then look at this giant gap that is left because these uh, little metal brackets aren't specifically made for this fan. They just kind of picked the cheapest fan to go with this. So uh, you can imagine there's going to be a lot of air loss there. So I naturally own a 3D printer as well because you get a 3D printer, then you get the laser cutter engraver. Uh, so I printed off this adapter which will fit exactly over that hole screw holes and everything and then uh, I can run my hose from there so it will only cover the hole right where it needs to suck as hard as it can and uh, evacuate as many vapors as possible from the machine uh, so I gotta take out these these screws which incidentally hold in the um, the the, the duct inside and uh, then I've got to somehow get them pointing out so I can get them through these holes that are on my printed adapter so I'll, uh, I'll work on that and see how that goes alright so unscrewing these wasn't difficult at all um, I was expecting this thing to just drop out after uh, I took out the last screw but it didn't it just kinda tipped down so I'll uh, Put in these guys the other way. If I can. Come on, you. There we go. So, get those going. Should probably also make sure my uh, the holes on my 3D printed part are, are clear or will fit these screws. And they won't. Just fine. I just drill them out. Um, I'll just try to reuse the, the screws that came with it. And uh, and I think in the description I'll put a, a link for this part. It printed out nicely. Um, the only problem I had, and this is because my bed wasn't level, this this corner led up, but that really shouldn't affect anything. And I think I might put a little bit of weather stripping along here, like I did on the the top, just to seal all our edges. So I'll get that installed and get back to you. I've got my weather stripping on. Cut the uh, weather stripping in half for these longer sections just so I can keep this entire area open because that's really the only spot that's going to be sucking air. Um, but that should be that should be good. That'll keep all the the drafts and uh, and things out. So we're sucking from the correct locations. As funny as that sounds. So I'll put the rest of these guys in. And I have a feeling that lining all this up isn't going to be fun. Because I'll get one screw in, and then another will push out, and so on and so forth. Ad nauseum. Ad infinitum. So see what kind of rigmarole this takes. I bet you this will be really annoying. Yep. Alright, so I'm not going to film this because this is just going to be obnoxious to watch. Could be funny for you. But I'll uh, come back once I've got this installed. So here's the part as I uh, put it on. I had to get some larger screws. Those smaller ones just weren't going to work. But I found it easier to install these side screws first. Then you can install these ones because you can reach them easily. Um, but there we go. There's a, a much better fit 4 inch uh, adapter for your 4 inch hose, you know, dryer vent hose or whatever you're going to put on there um, with some, some weather stripping. The only, the only thing I didn't like about this model, and which I think it maybe should have taken into account since it's built for the K40, is this bottom bracket down here. If you look, it doesn't clear it normally. I had to go mangle it 
with a pair of vice grips. Um, I just pushed it down a bit, but it's uh, it works now. I, I don't in, intend on ever using the the stock fan for this thing anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, and it would still work. I mean, it's still stop. It just doesn't have the, uh, the curved over lip like these do. So anyway, this should work out much better in terms of sealing and um, airflow.